Go! Swim! Swim! Well, you're trying. Hey guys, Sky here for another Minecraft Mod Showcase, and today I am doing the Not in Minecraft Mod, but in Minecraft. So basically what the Not in Minecraft Mod does is it adds a bunch of different things that were never actually added into Minecraft. Um, and uh, a lot of these things, if you actually read the Minecraft wiki, you'll actually know about. But uh, it really piqued my interest when I saw this mod, because I really, I've always wanted to see what a lot of the stuff that was never added into Minecraft would look like or act like. So, I don't know, I just found this mod really entertaining and fun to play around with. Sadly, this is sort of a work in progress mod, so a lot of the things are kind of glitched around and uh, still need uh, some fixing. But uh, other than that, it's a really cool mod, and I just had to show it to you guys because it just looked really awesome. Anyway, so I'm going to show you some of the blocks, and then I'm going to show you the crafting recipes for a bunch of different things in this mod. As you can see, the first block we have right here is the Crying Obsidian. Now, I remember the Crying Obsidian was rumored to go around uh, and, and be implemented into the game a while back while I was in, like, 1.7. Um, a lot of people were talking about this, but I never thought it was ever going to be implemented, and I never really expected it to. It just didn't really have a point to me, so, you know, it, it just never was. However, in this mod, they decided to implement the Crying Obsidian, and as you can see, the Crying Obsidian looks like it's just, you know, Obsidian, and it's, it's very sad. But, uh, yeah, and the next one right here, this is the Nether Core Reactor, I believe, or the Nether Reactor Core, uh, something like that. I don't know what this is. I've actually never heard of this before, and I had a lot of people telling me that this was actually in the Pocket Edition. If it's in the Pocket Edition, I actually don't know what the hell it does at all. Um, it just kind of looks cool, but in this mod, it is actually kind of used to make armor, and, uh... The, uh, the armor that it will uh, be made, I'll actually show you in a second here, but uh, but yeah, that is that is the nether reactor core. Now, the next one right here, this is the glowing obsidian, and I really like the texture on this one. I think uh, it just looks really cool. Uh, it just matches with the uh, crying obsidian because it's like blue and then red. But anyway, I really like this one just because it looks really cool, and it is going to be used to make uh, various things in this mod. Anyway, now the next one right here is actually the old style of bricks, and that also goes with the old style of cobblestone over here. Um, and I'll actually show you the, uh, the differences between them right now. Um, as you can see, this is going to be the old cobblestone, and this is going to be the old uh, bricks. And uh, where they are. Um, personally, I like the older bricks a little bit more than I like the newer bricks, just because they seem to, like, uh, to glow a little bit more and, uh, and uh, kind of pop a little bit more to the eyes. Um, this one just kind of looks like it's a little bit more dulled down. But I really like the uh, the older style bricks, in my opinion. However, I don't like the older style cobblestone compared to the uh, to the newer style cobble cobblestone. This one just kind of kind of just looks a little bit too broken to me. But uh, yeah, the next thing right here, this is the ruby ore. And uh, I believe the ruby ore was uh, said to come out around this time that emeralds were uh, going to come out. But they actually just never came out. And uh, it just left people very sad and disappointed. Personally, I like rubies a little bit more than I would have gotten emeralds. But uh, yeah, the last block right here, this is the classic chest. And uh, as you can see, it's just an older style chest that doesn't really open and it's just kind of glitched out. As I said, this is a work in progress mod, so a lot of the things are going to be kind of glitched out. Now, crafting recipes. Alright, so, um, as you can see right here, this is leather chain. Now, leather chain uh, is a strength between iron and diamond, meaning that it's going to be you know, semi-strong, except I believe it doesn't have as many uses. Now, to create a leather chain, you're going to need four leather and one iron ingot, and it will make a leather chain. And with the leather chain, you can make various armors, like a leather chain chest plate, a leather chain boots, leather chain helmet, and and uh, basically every armor. And you just create it the same way you would make any armor. And, uh, yeah. Now, the next one right here, as you can see, this is the ruby helmet. And as I said before, there is a ruby ore in this, uh... In this mod so when you break a ruby ore it will actually give you a ruby and uh, I believe the rubies are actually stronger than diamonds so they're not technically overpowered because they're really hard to find if emeralds did this I would like emeralds to be a bit stronger than diamonds too because those things are freaking hard to find too but uh, yeah when you have rubies you can make basically every armor as well with them 
Now, the next armor I'm going to show you is the Nether Core. Now, uh, first, before you make the Nether Core, you are going to need a gear. Now, I do not know when gears were ever going to be implemented. I have never actually heard of them. Um, uh, if you guys could write in the comments below when gears are ever supposed to come out, that'd be really awesome. But uh, I have actually never heard of gears. So to create a gear, you're going to need four iron ingots, and uh, you're just going to line them up sort of like you would a, a ninja star. Uh, if you've ever seen that mod, the ninja mod, which is awesome. So yeah, this is where glowing obsidian actually starts to take uh, into effect in this mod. It will make things called the nether core armor. And uh, as you can see, I already explained the gear. Um, and uh, the gear is actually going to be used to make the nether core leggings, along with a bunch of different things in this mod are going to be used to make a bunch of uh, nether core armor. Um, personally, I feel the nether core armor is a bit too, uh, I, I don't know, it's just not worth getting. Um, because there's just like, everything is really hard to find. And then um, it's not really that great. I mean, it's, I think it's a little bit stronger than diamond, but I, I feel that it's it's not really worth trying to find. But uh, yeah, as you can see, to make the Nether Core leggings, you'll need two gears and some glowing obsidian. And then to make the Nether Core chest plate, you are going to need a couple glowing obsidian. And this is where the Nether Reactor Core comes into handy. Uh, you'll need one Nether Core reactor, Nether Core, re Nether Reactor Core to <laughs> to make the Nether Core chest plate. I, I did that that keeps tripping me up. Um, and, uh, this is actually where the Crying Obsidian finally comes into handy, because apparently if you have two Crying Obsidian, it makes Nether Core boots, but, uh, yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't know what, what that was really about, but, uh, yeah, uh, to make the classic chest, if you want to make the classic chest, uh, <laughs> uh you're going to need, uh, eight wooden planks and one iron ingot, and it will make a classic chest. Now, the next thing right here is the lantern, and as you can see, the lantern is actually a really tall block. Um, it was never implemented into the game. I, I don't know why. It, uh, probably because it's, it was really poopy textured. But uh, as you can see, it just sort of looks like a little lantern going on there with no little lantern thingy on there. Uh, it's just kind of weird. Here, I'll help it. There, wait, there we go. Lantern brick. Lantern brick. It works. But uh, yeah, as you can see, um, it just kind of works like uh, glowstone bricks. Um, the, you can see that it actually works really well to light up the area around it. But, uh, yeah, those were actually pretty cool. I like how they were really, really big in the inventory screen. <laughs> but, yeah, to create that, you're going to need five papers uh, and four strings, and it will make a lantern. Now, the next one right here is the Scion Flower. Now, I know for sure that this one is in the Pocket Edition. Um, sadly, I don't know whether or, not this, whether or not this actually spawns around the world. But um, if it does, then that's cool. But uh, if not, then that sucks. Um, and there's a way to craft it if it doesn't spawn. Uh, all you have to do is grab some grass and, uh, and put it into a crafting table, and it will make a Scion Flower. Now, on top of that, there were actually dirt slabs. I don't think dirt slabs were ever actually implemented as well. And to make dirt slabs, you just have to do three dirt, and it'll make a dirt slab. And now it comes to the really cool items. Um, the crying obsidian, you're going to need eight obsidian and one water bucket. And uh, it will make a crying obsidian. And to make the glowing obsidian, you're going to need one obsidian and two glowstone dusts. And it will make a glowing obsidian. Now... The nether reactor core, don't trip me up here, um, you're going to need one iron ingot and one diamond and it will make a nether reactor core. Um, as I said before, that actually works to make the armor and stuff and uh, all that fun stuff. Now, if you like the classic brick more than you like the normal brick, all you have to do is plop the brick into a crafting bench and it will make a classic brick. Same thing goes with the uh, cobblestone and uh, as you can see, these are just basic recipes from like a... Uh, from normal Minecraft to make like the classic brick slabs and the uh, the classic brick uh, cobblestones and as you can see it's just some ruby tools and stuff and uh, and uh, yeah there's one last item that actually has never done anything in this mod it is the quiver and I don't know what it does I think it was like supposed to hold extra arrows but it just never never worked out so that's probably why it was never implemented into the game and uh, yeah let's show you some mobs Woo! finally that was a huge mouthful all right, as you can see, I have a lot of the uh, the uh, spawn eggs that I'm going to show you in just a second. Hey, hey, hey. squid, hey. squid, hey. where are you? I, where are here. you? I don't even. Over here. Hey. Where are you? Wh over here. Hey, hi. Ha! You have to hide in the water now. Hey, <laughs> I can come One point four, point five. In your face. I wanted to. In your face. What do you get? Don't oh, make yeah, me come oh, out. Yeah, there. really? I want to fight me. Huh? Okay. Okay. Step out here. Fight. Step out here. Come on. Fight me then. Fight You're gonna me. regret huh? this. You I will do anything? Come out I'll oh, fight you. Can't. you. Yeah, I will. That's what I thought. I will fight you. That's what you I thought. Okay, you made me. 
Alrighty, so the first one I'm going to show you is the human. Now, I believe the humans were supposed to be added in as just like a, a random companion to walk around with, and uh, they just really weren't going to do much. That's probably why they weren't implemented in the, in the first place, because there were so many mods that did that in the first place. But uh, yeah, personally, I would not have cared if they were never implemented, just because I don't really see a use in them. Now, the next one right here is the Pigman. Now, don't get it mixed up with the zombie Pigman. Um, the Pigman was actually going to be implemented as the uh, villagers. The little Squidward guys, these were going to be pigs in the first place, which personally, I would have loved. I would have preferred little pigs instead of those Squidward looking weirdos. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now, the next one right here is the Steve. Now, I remember seeing this on the wiki forum. Um, as you can see, uh, work in progress, so it's actually not moving that well. It just sort of glides around. But, uh, yeah, the Steve is actually, uh, was actually, I think, an in-dev. Uh, it actually was around at one point, but um, I, I never really saw a use for this one either. But it does look really cool. I like the model uh, structure on this guy, but um, I, I just don't really see a point on having him. Plus, his ears are kind of weird. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the next one I kind of would have loved to have. This one is Beast Boy. And uh, this guy looks just like uh, Beast Boy from, I think, like Teen Titans. I used to watch that as a kid. But um, I think Notch might have too, so that's why he wanted to add him in. But uh, as you can see, he's still kind of glitched up just like, the, uh, just like the other Steve guy was. And uh, I remember that I think I read about these guys being implemented. They were actually were in the game at one point in in-dev. And, uh, and I just, I, I still don't really see a point to the Steve one, but the Beast Boy one, yeah! I would have loved this guy to run around, but, uh, yeah. Now, as you can see, the next one right here, I shit you not, is called Black Steve. Now, I do not know <laughs> what was going on in InDev, but, uh, this one should have just been called Steve. Like, how am I supposed to commentate this specific mob without sounding like a racist? Um, as you can see, this is just, you know, black version of Steve. Uh, nothing really different about him at all, actually. Um, he just, you know, slides around just like the normal Steve does. But, uh, yeah, the next one over here is actually a whale. Now, <laughs> I don't know if the whale was actually ever supposed to have this texture, but I have to show you it in the water because this is just hilarious. Uh, when I, when I was playing around with this mod, when I first unleashed this guy into the water, it was like the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Swim, whale! Swim! Go! Do something! You can- Be free! Be free! <laughs> yeah, it's like he's like, retarded or something. <laughs> but yeah, the last one right here is the fish. And I actually would have loved for these guys to be implemented. They-, they It seems like there would have been no repercussions at all if these guys were implemented. They just look really cool. I love the texture. I love the- I love the model. It's just really a bummer that these guys were never actually implemented. Uh, it would have been really fun if you like- actually like hook these guys and, and would fish them and then you could make like sushi that'd be awesome but uh yeah but anyway guys that is the not in minecraft mod um personally i feel that this mod could use a little bit of work but uh other than that it was actually a really cool mod seeing a lot of the things that were uh would have and could have been added into minecraft but uh yeah guys if you like the commentary and you're new to the channel click that like and that subscribe button i love a new addition to the sky army also follow me on twitter in the description below and check out the mod in the description below as well it's it's really a mod that you definitely want to check out just to see what would have holy shit <laughs> uh uh yeah anyway guys what the f what the heck <laughs> uh looks like the spawn rate's a little bit off but uh, yeah guys, I'm Sky, and I'll see you later recruits. What are you doing whale? Get off of the land! You're not supposed to be on land, you're a whale!